Hi student, this is a chapter 2a, Methods of Analysis, DC Analysis. This chapter aim is to explain the nodal analysis technique in solving problem related to electric circuit and then it's expected that you should be able to identify the essential node, identify the supernode in the circuits, determine the equations of Ohm's law, determine the group of equation for each node for solving the electric circuit problem. So I'll start with the basic concept which is it will cover 4.1 which is the nodal analysis itself and then for the 4.2 the nodal analysis with voltage source which is a super node we call it as a super node in the nodal analysis you have to find the node voltage by performing kcl at the essential node what is kcl so kcl is a summation of currents in node equal to zero And then the KCL is performed with the currents going out of the node as a positive and the currents going in as a substrate. This is the explanations, okay? For the first things is you have to find the node voltage, which is you have a circuit, for example, like this one. So here is a tens ohm, here is another tens ohm. Okay, the meanings of the first finds the node voltage is, okay, as you can see here, there is two node, two essential node. You already learned about this one in the previous chapter. So, first it is identifies the node by using the X. Okay, marks the X for each of the branch here. The left or the right sides of your passive element. Okay, for the 5 ohm here, another 10 ohm here and here. So another 10 ohm and then we are grouping the X. Okay, the group, the grouping is stand for the essential node. So, and then for the nodal analysis, you have to select one node as a ground. Here. So, in here, you can see that it only consists of one active essential node, which is here. So, and then we assign this node s of v for example so this is a node voltage okay and if a node voltage for the grounds is a zero voltage and then for the kcl summations of currents in nodes equal to zero we assume that the currents is going out as a positive it is a assumptions okay for the nodal i want you to assume that all the current is exit the node here okay after you already assigns the flows of the currents and then what you have to do is the kcl equations adds node by assuming that the i ins equal to i out that you can see that the i ins is zero because we assume that all the currents is exit Okay, and then there is a I that flow into the 5 ohm plus with the I at 10 ohm and another I at a 10 ohm. This is the meaning for the seconds, uh, uh, sorry, for the thirds. KCL is performed with the currents going out of the node as a positive. Okay, and then you will learn on how to find the I. For the five tens and another ten. Okay, and then you have to remember that 
you have to understand on how to write the equation of currents I for each branch. Then, how to write the currents, uh, sorry, how to write the equation for I? Okay, so the first step is you have to identify that the current, uh, the branch must consist of R. Okay. For example, here. Okay. We assume that this one has a branch and then the branch has a resistor. Okay. But if the currents do not consist of R and we have to do the KCL for the other branch. This is the explanations of the second section. Okay. As you can see here, you can see this one. Okay. This branch do not consist of the resistor. Okay. The second branch is consists of a resistor. And then the third branch the third branch is consists of the resistor. In order to know or to identify or to determine the current that flowing to this branch, what you can do is you have to do the KCL. Okay? Look this one. Marks the branch with the I. For example, here I1 and I2. This is the currents that you need to find. For example, here. Okay? After you are applying the first step, this is the first step. Okay, by determining the voltage across the resistor. And then by using the ohm law, for example, you know the voltage here. So here is also 10 because of the resistor is in parallel, in parallel with the tens. And of course, here is also 10 volt. By using the ohm law, you can find the I and also the I, I1 and I2 by using the ohm's law, which is the V is equal to R. Which is tens over ten one m. So I one and I two is what n one m. And by using the KCL, so KCL at nodes one. Combinations of the current here. I out I T plus I two plus I three eh, sorry I one plus I two is equal to zero. So you can get the I T equation here minus I T plus I two which is one plus one that you can get the I T is uh, minus two M. Okay, this is the the explanation for the second section. Okay, and of course the number three, which is you have to know the voltage for the resistor. This is the most important things. Okay, in order to do the Ohm's law, you have to know the voltage across the resistor, and then after you know the voltage across the resistor, and then you can find the currents.